Hi, it's Dr. Rohde. I want to talk about our immune system. The last year and a half has really been challenging and I want to run through some of the basics to give you an understanding of where we're at, what we've learned, and how we're going to keep ourselves healthy going forward. So the first thing I want everyone to understand is, and this is really important, God gave each of us an awesome immune system and it helps protect us from all sorts of infections, bacterial and viral. And the most important thing you and I can do to keep ourselves healthy is follow some simple guidelines that I want to review. So I want everybody to understand first, we have um, our innate immune system. That's what we were born with and what we need to keep healthy. And then we have an acquired immune system, which means as we're exposed to viruses, bacteria, fungi, whatever's in our environment, our body learns to dissociate or associate what is self and what is non-self. And that's really his job is decide what's our immune system and what's safe in our body and what's from the outside and considered an evader. When the immune system messes up and uh, starts to look at our own body as a danger, that's what we call autoimmune disease. And we don't want to go down that pathway. So we need to keep our immune system balanced. And that's something I want you to understand. People keep talking about boosting your immunity. That may be okay if your immunity is low, but if you have autoimmune disease, you want to balance your immune system because it's already overreactive, which is dangerous actually. So let's talk about uh, the difference between uh, the infection theory and the terrain theory. Louis Pasteur described the germ theory when he told us that bacteria and viruses cause illness. Beauchamp was another French uh, gentleman scientist who said it's the terrain that causes us to get ill, not the virus or the infection. And so I want you to think about that for a minute. The terrain is basically our body, uh, which is like the soil. So if you plant seeds in a fertile ground, it will grow beautifully. I put out an article early on during this whole viral issue uh, that was entitled dandelions can't grow on concrete. And if you think about it, dandelions grow everywhere. We don't want them to. And so that's like any virus or bacteria. We don't want it growing and taking root in our body. So we got to make sure that our body is like concrete, immune to invaders. And it's real simple. So if you scatter dandelion seeds on a concrete driveway, they're going to shrivel up and die until the wind blows them into a fertile soil to grow. Simple analogy, easy to understand, I think. So what we want to do is keep ourselves healthy. But now going back to that, if we think that the disease is not really what causes problems in our body, then we need to think about salvation is not going to come in a little vial called an injection. And I want you to think about that for a minute. Your body's job is to keep yourself healthy. If you keep your immune system healthy, it will protect you from all comers, no matter what comes. As we've figured out over the months, the vaccines are losing their efficacy and we have variants. That's normal. Viruses mutate. Okay. And if you think about this, we had an alpha virus. That's what the immunizations were made from. And now we've had several different mutations of those viruses. Doesn't matter what they call it. It's just another mutation that happens with any virus. It happens with the influenza virus. And so I want you to think about, as we talked about, that little vial that they inject in your body is not going to keep you safe because if you're going to inject that alpha-based injection into your body, but we now have a mutated virus, that's like giving yourself last year's flu shot and expecting it to work well because viruses mutate from time to time and actually very rapidly what we've figured out. So what we really need to focus on is keeping ourselves healthy not relying on some injection. And I want you to think about that before you do that. So what do we need to know? Um, we have our innate immune system and it handles all comers. So what do we do to mess that up? Well, the biggest problem is we live in a really toxic environment. The world is polluted. I know most people don't really think of it that way, but the foods that we eat have toxins on them because they're grown in a soil that has pollution in it from the earth around us. We've not done a very good job of taking care of the earth and we're suffering the consequences of that. 
So what can you do to improve that? Well, obviously you can buy as much organic food as you can to avoid putting more toxins in because your body has to detoxify those and get rid of them. Otherwise it starts to suppress or affect your immune system negatively. So that's really important. What else is important? Decrease your stress level. Okay, stress can come in many forms. It can be illness, it can be sickness, uh, it can be stress at work or at home, or it can be that darn media. So Dr. Rohde's rule number one is turn off the media and you'll cut your stress. What else can you do to help with that? Get adequate sleep. I tell everyone we really need seven to eight hours of sleep every night to rebuild and restore our immune system. That's when we heal. So that's vital. What else can you do? We need to exercise regularly. I know most people dislike that. I don't like to exercise, but I do my uh, work with that three days a week because I know it's good for me and it keeps my immune system healthy. So even getting out and walking for 30 minutes a day is better than 99% of most Americans are doing right now. And as we say, sitting is the new smoking. So get up and get moving. What else can we do? Well, with our diet, we can add some supplements to help uh, keep our immune system working as efficiently as we can. And we've talked about our basic nutrients um, and we've added a few along the way because of all the viral illnesses. We figured out some are very specific for that. So what's important? Vitamin D3, get your level checked. If you've never had it checked, find out where it's at and it should be 50 to 60 as a safe range. Add some vitamin C. 1,000 milligrams twice a day is a great place to start. Add some zinc, 30 to 50 milligrams a day for the winter months. Add some quercetin, 500 milligrams a day. That's extracted from onions and garlic. So eat more onions and garlic in your organic diet. And then we can add in some N-acetylcysteine because it is the basis for our body to make our liver's primary detoxifier. That's important to be able to detoxify. And we've also found that it's helpful to offset side effects from the infection that we've had. It helps recover the taste and smell that many lose when they have the coronavirus infection. And then the last thing I want you to understand is there are multiple treatments that will prevent you from getting really sick and getting into the hospital. If you wanna know more about that, you can call the office. We can set up an appointment to discuss those. Uh, with either myself or Lacey, our nurse practitioner, we'd be happy to help with those. There are many things we can prescribe. There are also treatments that we do in the office to help balance your immune system and treat people that have had the infection to help bring back lost taste and smell, energy, all of those things that have been an issue for people that have had the virus. We've had people with brain fog, so some of the nutritional infusions will help with that as well. All those things we can help recover. Um, so we need to set ourselves up for success. And that's the important thing I wanna sh uh, share with you again, is turn off the media, get rid of the stress, get some sleep, get some exercise, uh, get some uh, regular supplements in, eat a clean organic diet. And those are really the basics to keeping your immune system healthy and keeping it balanced. If you have underlying autoimmune disease, we can help you manage that. In the uh, next couple of weeks, we will have a combination supplement available for you that includes all of the supplements I just mentioned. So you don't have to buy five or six different bottles. It's real simple, one or two capsules twice daily. We'll provide all of the basics for you. Uh, this is our new Renew Immune Daily. And like I said, we should have that available in the next week or two. And we're going to have another video to introduce that. Now, final message, uh, in the second week of January, we'll be doing our detox with the doc. We talked about all the toxins that we live amongst in our environment. That is a wonderful seven day regimen to help your liver detoxify, to get it ready to do its best job to keep you healthy. And I want you to remember that fat is our body's repository or storage dump for toxins because it's less metabolically active. The more toxins you put in, the more fat you build because the body wants to keep it out of circulation to keep you healthy. And you can't get the weight off and keep it off unless you work on detoxification and getting it out. So remember, we can help. Let us know what we can do for you, but remember those fine points and then let's move forward for a healthier and happier new year.